Let me show you guys how to use your Elgato Stream Deck using Streamlabs OBS. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is Streamlabs OBS, aka Slobs. Now, we have did a session where on stream, I was on Twitch, where we showed how to get started, all the overlays they have available, how to set up everything as far as all in one. But um, there is one thing that people with this device are questioning, and there is an answer. Um, can you use the Elgato Stream Deck with slobs? Yes, you can. Um, there is a trick. So I'm going to show you that trick as far as the Elgato Stream Deck. Now, this here is my regular setting as far as uh, for OBS Studio. So I use this to get things going as far as switching scenes and getting things uh, to the party, Zordon, everything there. So on that note, I can't use this under slobs because of the fact that it's not an integrated program under um, the stream deck itself. So on that note, what I will do is uh, I will go to my cog gear here and I will go ahead and go to profiles. Now, what you would need to do as far as the profile itself, you have to go to export. So once you export, you export it to a certain folder. I put it in my uh, BC folder and there's my actual profile to export. So then you will create a new profile. So you click on that, create a new profile. I named it slobs. Okay, Streamlabs OBS, get used to it. <laughs> uh, but I did that and basically that's currently set there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna switch over to slobs and I'm going to create hotkeys. Now you can create hotkeys as far as switching the scenes itself or what you can do is you can create a hotkey switch and that will be under system under OBS. So you will go under the system section. You will go to hotkey to create a hotkey to switch scenes. As you can see, I have cheese two as far as what you see in the background. And I have Zordon in which I, since I have a green screen shirt on, I can be the black Zordon Rangers. And once I have that set up, you have to set a hotkey for each one. So as you can see, that's my hotkey for that scene. And then I have for Zordon, the next letter over, which is N. So now that I have that set up there, I now have to go back to slobs and I go under settings. Once I go under settings, I go to hotkeys. And then under hotkeys, it has all of the options there. So let's just basically just, there we go. Boom. There we go. Okay, so here we are with Zordon. Zordon was Control Shift N. I have it set to where it switches to that scene, Control Shift N. Now that's already my hotkey on the Elgato um, Stream Deck. That's already there. Now for the next setting, which is Cheese Two, I will have Control Shift B as far as that hotkey so it will switch to that scene now you'll put in the um the actual keys or the key pattern once you put that in you click on done and as you can see here this is my scene now once i click on zordon it will go to the next scene that is my next scene so you'll see my head directly in the middle or multiple places. So basically like I'm the black Zordon, this will be me here. And then if I want to go back to my main scene, I can definitely go back to the main scene. The only thing about this is that you have to stay on slobs to do it. If you click off of slobs and try to press it, it will not go through. So on that note, make sure that you are always on slobs. So therefore you can switch scenes with using your Elgato Stream Deck. So that is how you use your Elgato Stream Deck.
with slobs, aka the Streamlabs OBS. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Until then, KIT, peace. Game up a lot. To all the gamers all around the world. Say you what G4 is. Say you what G4 is. Okay. Okay. For the gamers all around.